So in this video, I'm briefly going to describe how to use Excel in order to investigate the limit of a ratio of two exponential functions, as seen in cell A1 here, and also to plot the solution to get a visual, visualization of what's going on. So you recall that in order to plot a function with independent variable x and dependent variable f of x, what we do is we create one column of x values and then just use the definition of the formula to compute the corresponding y values. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start at x equal 1 and I'm going to create a sequence of, sequence of points which differ by 1. And we showed sort of how to do this in a previous video. And I'm just going to go down to 25 for now just to kind of see. We can always extend that out if we need to. And then in the adjacent cells, I'm going to use my formula definition here. And a new bit of information about Excel is if you want to compute exponential functions, there's an exp command. So for example, if I want to compute e to the negative x and plug in a specific value of x, I would just type negative c3, for example, if I want x equal 1. So we enter that in the numerator and do a similar thing in the denominator. And you can notice I forgot to type the fives I often do in such scenarios. So now we've had Excel compute for us the value of f when x is 1. And in order to compute the value at these other inputs, we can just drag that down. And we can see that in this situation, it's pretty easy to see what's going on. The value of fx looks like it's approaching 1 half pretty quickly. Just to kind of get a little bit better visualization, we can create a scatter plot using insert scatter plot, and we can do either uh, dotted or solid lines, just do solid in this scenario. And that gives you a good picture of the fact that as x increases, f of x is getting closer and closer to this horizontal asymptote at 0.5.